All right, well, given the option, I mean, I have to pick Metal Man. I need you to move, please. Oh, good. Spikes. I, I love spikes. I can barely see. Barely have any time to react to. Definitely bargain bin Mega Man. Aren't a lot of the Game Boy Mega Mans just kind of like that? I know some do some somewhat unique stuff. This is the only one of the uh, of the five that I own a cartridge for. If we're talking like the Rockman World Series, I've played other ones before. Like I I played I played all of them. Now that I think about it, I don't remember anymore. I never really remember the Rockman World Series, but this is the only one I have the cartridge for. Um, I played Doctor Wily's Revenge back on the 3DS, because I remember downloading that off the Virtual Console. Pretty sure I've raced 3 before, and 5. I want to say I might have raced 4 before. I know we played a Rockman World for RBC before. I want to say that was 5. Battle Network is also its own beast, and I'm kind of okay with that. I'm not as big on Battle Network as others are, although I did start playing uh, One Step from Eden the other day at work. And I, I didn't really play too much into it, but it, it was a fun time. That's gonna That game's gonna be hell to learn how to play competently, though. Hey, already at the boss door. Well, the first boss is always the, the, the toughest one. Being the one where we don't exactly have a weakness on hand. But also, I mean, it's fucking Metal Man. What, what do you want from me? Shoot him a bunch. He'll die eventually. You pathetic fool. Bye bye. I don't know. It is uh, Metal Blade as broken in this as it is in Ness Man? I might experiment with that a little bit because the main reason it was so broken. Besides just destroying a number of bosses, apparently, um, was you could fire in eight directions and it consumed like no energy. Oh my god, Megan Man is such a video game. Oh nope, that's Rush Marine. Metal Blade. Well, we can throw it in all directions and it doesn't really consume ammo all that quickly, so... Probably about as broken as it was in... Uh, the original. Except, uh, the unfortunate thing is two of our robot masters here in this set of four we have are, uh, Airman and Crashman. And they both resist Metal Blade, so it doesn't feel as broken anymore. We can still kick Woodman's ass with it, though, which is... I mean, it's exactly what we're gonna do now. Oh god, and needles? What the fuck? Yo, man, get back to your stage. The realization that I really could have just used Rush Marine and have been done with it, but... But... Or I could just keep running into needles. Yeah, that sounds like a fantastic plan, me. Just don't worry about it. You, you, you feel a little poke? Or 
must have just been the wind. Okay, uh... So let's actually act like the... Let's, let's do the uh, sensible thing and act like those spikes are there. I don't think it's that kind of needle beak. Oh, so yes, please get vaccinated. The, the trademark for Woodman Stage. Running chickens. I don't know what I'd do without them. Ah! Now let's get that Metal Blade ready to go. Which I probably should have used more in the stage itself, but... Eh. Don't need it. All right, Woodman. It is time to end your career. Bye-bye! <laughs> that was pathetic! Holy shit! Just destroyed! You got... Leaf Shield! I like a leaf shield, and that's good against Airman. That's where we're going next. The bosses just don't seem to have as much health in general in the Game Boy ones, which kind of makes sense in a way. Everything on, on the Game Boy is kind of just like... What if NES, but smaller? We'll just make the, the health bar smaller. Oh, God. I love clouds. When they obscure my view, and I can't see a damn thing. Can't see whatsoever where I'm going. I do like that the health pods in this game, uh, when you pick them up, they don't stop you in place. You can keep moving while your health is refilling. I think is a real nice change that, honestly, more of the main series Mega Man games needed to do. Oh, I wanted that large health power. Oh, wait, I have, like, almost full health. Did I, do I really care? I will take that extra life. I, you are not going to hear me ever objecting to getting an extra life. Oh my god, is, is that the Game Boy Mega Man Polk? Basically Rockman World 3, or Mega Man Roman Numeral 3? Oh, I need to keep going down more. Because I remember that being a fun time when we raced it. Fun with a capital fuck. You don't have to stream games to be part of Retro Book Club. Just means I won't have a restream on your feed. Uh, what the hell weapon did I need? It was wood. Yeah, I needed wood. That sounds right. Bye, Airman. Yeah, I'll go ahead and in the uh, RBC command there, since it also has a link to the Discord. Yeah, some of the, like, I know some people have used uh, RBC as kind of a way to pick out a game that, oh, I meant to do retro achievements for this. Well, now I can do the, do retro achievements for the game and play in a group of fr in a uh, call with a bunch of friends. 
And I am A-okay with that. Also, why is Crash Man just called Clash Man here? You'll have to make sure, uh, if you plan to join for Russia Book Club, the only thing you gotta make sure of is, um... Reacting to get the correct, the uh, corresponding role for Retro Book Club. Um, because recently I at least opened up signups to just anybody in the Discord. Um, before it was, you had to have the role to be able to see the signup room. Um, but starting in Season 3, I decided, you know what would make more sense? Uh, getting hit a lot, but besides that, um, just have it open to everybody, and if somebody signs up for it and they don't have the role, just poke them saying, hey, re remember to give yourself the role so you can see the main, the main feed. Ooh, I want that E-Tank. Do I have... Yes, I do have a Rush Jet. And it is the good Rush Jet as well. The Rush Jet, I can just really move around wherever I want to. Oh, this is ho this is slightly horrifying. Thank you. I think it's the is it the Mega Man 3 Rush Jet, I believe is that specific one, the one where you can just freely move wherever. I don't always remember my uh, rush jets correctly. Okay, it is that one. I'll say, hey, Leslie. How you doing? Ooh, du double the E tank. Oh, uh, I am in zero mood to go all the way back around the long way. Yes, that I do remember. Um, ooh, is that still in this one? Or is that specifically in... Hold on. I gotta do dumbs. Okay, it looks like that's in this one as well. Because I remember abusing the shit out of that in Mega Man 3, especially if I was, like, racing it. It doesn't seem to be as noticeable in this one, but it does seem to also apply to this one. Alright, Crash Man. Or, sorry, Clash Man. Oh, oh, you're 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 not gonna die nearly as quickly. And that's gonna make me sad. I'm actually gonna have to start Buster dueling you like right now. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, I, this might be a mistake. I might need a. Oh. Well. Okay. Well, I didn't need E-Tanks. I'm actually probably gonna need to use an E-Tank. I always just obliterate Crash Man with Air Man's weapon. I know how his AI works, I'm just bad at working around it. Because his AI functions in that anytime you shoot at him, um, he leaps up into the air. I could probably take one more hit. Yeah, uh, I'm not chancing anything. E tank. As I proceed to do. Okay, no, now I feel slightly better. I feel slightly better now that I've taken damage. Yep, that's how that works. Weak to another weapon here. He's weak to death, so I gave him death. Wait, Crash Man drops the bombs, makes you worry the floor is going to break. I I think Grenade Man in that instance, because like that's actually how that fight goes, is it's kind of divided up into two halves. All right, time for some Wily stages. Hi, Wily. We're we're already at the final boss. Who'd have imagined? 
Yeah, death, the ultimate status effect. That's what Final Fantasy's taught me. Alrighty, uh... Fuck. Where do I start here? Let's go here. Because unlike in the, um... So that's a, normally the kind of chamber you would see in, like, normal, like, main series Mega Man, where you go through a capsule and you have to rematch a boss. But here we get new stages. I never did play much of Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. I always saw stuff about it, and it looked interesting, as interesting as it could look to me being somebody who doesn't usually play games like Doom or Quake. Um, because I really liked Mega Man, so I'm like, oh, this is a, like a multiplayer Mega Man game where all the weapons are basically based off Robot Masters. This seems cool. And then I just never played it. I think I dicked around with it once. Uh, I'm gonna take the lower path here. Yeah, wrong hacks are allowed for Retro Book Club. I have zero objection to ROM hacks, as long as you provide the hack yourself. Uh, I know we've had some very interesting ROM hacks before. I know we've done, uh, one, the one that usually comes to mind for me is when we did, uh, Minus Infinity. That's like a decently well-known Mega Man hack, or at least I hear about it a bunch, so I assume it's well-known, since I don't usually go out of my way to look at the ROM hack scene. Ow. Okay, uh, remember that needles exist. Please and thank you. Do, do, do. Okay. There's another needle there. You're not fooling me. Remus was another one that we had. Um, and that was a good time. A pretty overall well-designed hack, I would say. I think Air Man is what we would want for this. Hard to tell, because we're fighting Mega Man 3 bosses, and, uh, really anything goes in Mega Man 3 land. But, this, but yeah, Air Man's weapon seems to be doing pretty well. See ya! Looks like all these robot masters are going to be all, um, Mega Man 3 bosses. You got Needle Cannon. Yeah, probably is, which... I know that's been a... That's something that happens at least a few times in Mega Man 3 as it is. And Mega Man 2, for that matter. Oh, I hate this. Also... Wonder whose stage this is. Couldn't be Magnet Man's. Could it? All the magnets? How many E-Tanks do I have? I could always do with some more E-Tanks. Oh my god, what happened to you? You used to be so much bigger! Yeah, I do recall, um, a lot of the Game Boy ones wanting to split it, so you'd have Rollout Masters from one game and the the next game after. So in this case, Rollout Masters from Mega Man 2, and as well as have some from Mega Man 3. Oh, fuck this. 
I'm sure I, it would be fine if I just went about my business normally, but fuck this. I'm flying. You can't make me do dumb shit. I'll do dumb shit on my own. Oh. Alright, I'm out of here. Gonna ignore all this. Break the entire puzzle. What makes it especially great is... You're... No matter what you do, you're gonna have Rush Jet by that point. So you can just... Break the entire thing over your knee, pretty much. No questions asked. Oh my god, Santa Claus saves the Earth. That's another quality game we've played. Quality might be... A bit loose, but... Our definition of good is a bit loose in general around here anyway, so... <laughs> Alright, hi, Magnet Man. I need to watch myself. You know I have your, like, just tr your attracting move, like, where you try to pull me towards you in this one? Oh my god, at least it was, it is an elf bowling. That's such a good moment from the, sh from RBC. <laughs> oh, I, I love that so much. I love when that happened. At least it is an elf bowling as it proceeds to be the next game in line. Ugh. <laughs> that, that makes me giggle every time. Alright, I have enough room for another E-Tank, so let's do exactly that and get ourselves another E-Tank. Maybe somebody's done a arm um, hack of that. I couldn't say. I don't usually see ROM hacks for the Game Boy Mega Mans. It's most of the time, and yeah, bees. Most of the time, the uh, I want that life. Um, the Game Boy Mega Mans were just like, like a lot of games on the Game Boy. They were a way to play games on the go, basically. And that's most of it, like... It's one of those things where there wouldn't be a whole lot of point to make a ROM hack of it, since the the home console version is the... Usually, definitively, the superior version. This is definitely one of those cases where you could make a case for it, though, because there's enough unique stuff in the game... ...where you might be able to make a case for it. Oh, maybe it is actually worth making a ROM hack for something like this. I'm like, yeah, I agree. I don't know if it's a ROM hack I'd play, but I agree there's at least merit to making a ROM hack for this. I don't feel like I need that health. I hate monkeys, though, by the way. Can that be stated? Fuck monkeys, dude. Oh. Maybe I should have picked up that health. Maybe that wouldn't have been a bad idea. Maybe when you bees. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of health. Uh. Oh, that's Metal Blade. Fuck. Oh, it's, this is Magnet Man, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I'm like, I'm like looking at the list, and I'm like, shit. Which one's Magnet Man? Hi, hard man. Oh, that, oh, 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 God. Okay, Magnet Man's weapon sucks ass for hard man here, cause it locks onto the hard knuckles as well. What the fuck? I feel ripped off. Okay, goodbye. Oh, that that does mean it's also time for the meme of this game. You got hard! End the sentence there. Yeah, that definitely doesn't happen in Mega Man 3. Mega Man 3 is one of the, the uh, Nest Mans I probably played uh, the most of. 
So I can confirm that that definitely has not happened to me before. I have definitely seen that screenshot multiple times. Just you got hard. Oh, oh, there's Yoku Box. Uh, well, see, I see. I'm doing this little thing with the Yoku Box called not caring about them. Why don't I use just use Rush Marine? I have it no matter what here. Just skip the damn thing. Where the hell else am I gonna use Rush Marine? Am I gonna is it gonna f fucking scare off Wily or something? No. Use Rush Marine while I got it. I'll need the large health drop. I will take another extra life. I think I'm good on extra lives, but you can never have enough extra lives. And five is definitely uh, not enough, I'm sure. Probably. Don't want to fight the cat. I think I'm already filled up on E-Tanks, actually. Yeah, can only hold up to four. That's good to know. Ow. Oh, that. Okay, at a glance, that looks like a pretty wide jump. I guess it's not as wide as it looks, but... Man, is it stressful. Alright, now where- where is the weapon that- oh yeah, there's our hard. How effective is this gonna be against Magnum Man- or not Magnum Man, Top Man? It's not bad, that's for sure. He's very dead, that's for sure. Topman is usually who I start with. That would have been like NES Mega Man 3, I assume. Topman is actually who I usually start with in Mega Man 3. You got top. And here's, I believe this guy's name is Quint. Just shoot him a ton. He's very not threatening. <laughs> it could be this game's equivalent of Proto Man. How, how would we know? Hmm. You got Quint item. Sakugare. Sakugarne. That's how you say words. There's some dark lore about him in the manual, probably. But we don't read the manuals. I could read the manual. I do have the manual for this game. It's in like another room, though. So I would have to read up on the the dark lore sometime later. Welcome to Wily's time machine. That's the only thing I can really think of with all the clocks in the background. Oh god. Okay, I see how it is. I definitely thought for a second that was going to be a death pit, but no, I think there there was an E-Tank that I might have been able to pick up. Whatever. I already have four E-Tanks. Game, I need to play more of again. Banjo-Kazooie. I played that 100% way back in the day. Uh... I remember a decent amount from it. But I'm sure I've forgotten some things about Banjo-Kazooie. Oh my god. 
You joke about the N64 disk drive, um, but I might be getting my hands on one of those soon for my own setup. I want to get my hands on one and just get, like, all the N64 DD games and then just, like, do a stream of them. I, I can get behind this track. I th and I think the uh, N64 D disk drive they have at the store also comes bundled with Mario Artist, aka the uh, N64 Mario Paint, es essentially. Not cheap, because... Man, those disk drives are rare as hell. It'll be fun to finally own one if I end up buying it. Right, our good friend, the Cloud. Oh good, now we have birds. So, I would need to double check everything that comes with the Nintendo 64 disk drive they have at the store. Um, that I was looking at buying, but I believe the price tag on it is like, $1,700? I'll use knee tank. So, use that to kind of figure from there. Oh god. Hi, Wily. Yeah. And I would need to double check how it works. I believe... If I'm not mistaken, uh, you can use it with a North American N64, unless you are playing, uh, the F-Zero expansion. Because, since that one actually involves using the F-Zero game as well, you need the, um... You need to put the cartridge in for it, and, it, uh, it won't work with a North American one. And... Out the gate, at least, the, uh, N64 is region locked. I do say out the gate because I am aware that it's pretty easy to get it modded to make it region free. I don't exactly want to mod my Pikachu N64, though, so I probably want to get, like, a burner N64 for that, which is a really dumb sentence now that I say that out loud. Anyway, here's Wily. He keeps running away. Like the jerk he is. Fucking fight me head to head. Oh, I guess I could also try using this thing. Uh. Let's look on that. Now we have a pogo stick of our own. And now Wily's dead. Love Mega Man's stupid pogo stick. <laughs> so dumb. Great. You will be missed, Wily. Wily's fucking dead. We absolutely murdered him in cold blood. He'll never come back again. You think, but then Meg. Then, but then, uh, Wily just installs that revolving door he has in, like, 4. Where literally his escape is just, the door turns. And Wily's gone. Which I think is my favorite escape of, uh, Dr. Wily out there. Of main series. 
Dr. Wily escapes just because it's so on the nose. It's great. Especially since you see other ones where it's like, he's in jail. Whoops, he's out of jail now. Nobody ever learns their lesson. Leave Wily in jail, for God's sake. Also, yeah, Mega Man 2 done. So, that's crossed off the backlog. Enjoy all these, uh... Some of these enemy names, really. I never really think about enemy names in Mega Man, but, man, some of these names are really ridiculous. Every time I see that, I just cannot help but think of O from Puyo Puyo Tetris. Peep, 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 pee! I think Capcom games in general like to do the enemy parade thing, because I played Ghouls, or not Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, Gargoyles Quest 1 last, like, last week. And that also had an enemy parade when you beat the game. Donkey Kong Country is also a big fan of that, though. Meanwhile, you just have Mega Man over there, staring off into space. Photo albums are always like. See, with the DKC series, I experienced uh, that trilogy first on the GBA. So I just kind of accepted the photo albums as, oh, yeah, this is just a part of the game. And didn't realize until way later that, oh, no, they're actually like added in specifically for the GBA release. And there's Clash Man, definitely not Crash Man. Like, going back to, like, the SNES Donkey Kong Countries, it definitely felt a bit jarring to me for the first time around. Just seeing a bunch of stuff I'm used to seeing in the game through the GBA version not be present. Yeah, 2, two was... Oh, GBC. I, I read that as GBA first. Um... I actually haven't played the GBC port of DKC one. Maybe I should try playing that at some point. I've seen bits and pieces of it, and my assumption is the level design's pretty similar with the uh, SNES counterpart, but it probably has some of the quirks of the Donkey Kong Land series. That's what my assumption is, anyway. Yeah, DKC2 on GBA was where I first started playing Donkey Kong Country. Thank you for playing! Presented by... Who the hell is this presented by? I must know! Capcom! Oh, well, that explains a lot. Alright. 